Moving on to three then. You want to alternate this? You want to go three? This is where I started to struggle with the order. Yeah, which, same. So this is when the order kind of was tough because I like, okay. This next I'm, three, I put in every single order. I've jumbled them around in every single position. So I put Steph at three. Same. Oh, this might not be a great. It doesn't matter if we agree. I was like, okay, it's just this year. I just felt like, like going he, into this season. It's I mean. just going to be going into this. It's not like. It's not predicting what will happen this season. It's yes, saying it's like, this is the in, order going in and things can that's what we'll kind of get into what things can happen that we can foresee somebody jumping in positions and pretty easily in, yeah but going in i feel like this just needs to be the order that's kind of why i put steph here at three which don't need to say much about him other than change the way that the nba works in a lot of different ways he is a superstar with or without the ball never stopping moving his feet he's always running off screens always relocating one of the most unselfish like all three of these guys are super unselfish but steph you could argue in a way is the most him or Jokic at least just the way that he utilizes his gravity to get people open like there's all these videos on YouTube you can go watch about this there's a lot of compilation videos just of him coming off a screen both defenders are following him and Kevon Looney or Draymond Green just slips that screen wide open for a layup at the rim that kind of stuff happens all the time just because of how much defenses are paying attention to Steph and he knows he's not getting the ball in that scenario but he's doing that because he knows the value yeah. uh, that that creates for his team just looking at the a comparison between him and the way Russell Westbrook was refusing to play with the Lakers like how he is this heliocentric Russ is like mm -hmm. this guy that can't play off ball so, and that's kind of like the difference between Jokic and Luka and these other guys that we were talking about with the heliocentrism those other guys when they have the ball it's all centered around them but when they don't have the ball they're out of the play nothing's they're going just standing on there watching and Literally. Jokic yeah Jokic is not like that at all even if it's not his move on the court like he sees like oh this would be beneficial if somebody were to like flash middle right here but he's not in the position to do that he's communicating to other people trying to get them to make those moves or i just love those plays where it's Jokic that passes the ball and then he just takes off sprinting all of a sudden curling down with a cut off ball to get the ball and put it up for a layup he does that kind of stuff a lot he moves without the ball and he's just very smart with that kind of stuff that is what steph does to better the, than Jokic, like yeah the absolute yeah, highest degree that we've um, ever seen in the history of ever mm -hmm. and probably won't see again because it's like a different gear yeah what i was saying about russ he refused to ever set screens for his teammates. He's like, I'm a star. I don't set screens. That's just this mentality that a lot of stars have. But it's like Steph, the way he treats the game is as if he is merely a role player. Like every player on the team, including him, is just playing their role. Um, mm -hmm. And that's just something that's really special. So that's our top three. I feel really good about that top three. 